you've ever ended up in the friend zone or been told that you are nice, but that she doesn't want to date you, pay close attention to this level. Here, we'll be focused on doing everything right on the first date to build sexual attraction, take her home, and make sweet love. Yeah, this will also work. You don't actually have to try to kiss her to create sexual tension and make her feel some desire for you. It's all about having some chemistry and you don't necessarily need to act on it at the first opportunity. As long as you get to it at some point, don't wait too long and miss the boat. Yeah, that's correct. If you don't connect too much and don't talk about deep emotions or even get to know each other that well, that will mean that, you know, she can't get too attached to you. And if you just want something that's not serious, you don't go and break her heart. Anyway, so it's been a really hectic week. How's your Chinese thing going on? Uh, that, yeah, it was, um, like I told you, it's the promotion for yeah. the horror seducer game, but we did okay. it in Chinese um, because China is like a big games market. Mm. So I think it went well. I had to learn quite a bit of the script in Chinese and I couldn't read it. I had to look at the camera. And... So you can speak? Can you say like a few words or something? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I can tell you the beginning of it. So okay. um, just the first part, let me think. Okay, it goes like this. Hi, 大家好,我想为中国玩家带来一个好消息 I see, well, that uh, sounds very Chinese to me <laughs> Yeah, that's good, that's the main thing <laughs> Not that I can understand it, but yeah We'll see if they laugh at me or if, or if I they said will. it right yeah. Well, I don't mind, <laughs> as long as they like the games, okay. it's all good Cool, so when is it uh, up? Um, I think we need like another year actually, oh. quite a long time Yeah, that's quite yeah. a while, but okay anyway, Cheers. Cheers to that! Let you play it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. How do I make her more likely to come back with me? Do you like horror movies? Uh, yeah, why not? Sometimes. Yeah? Not too often. Not too often now. I have to watch so many now, like uh, research for the game because okay. it's horror based. Not to steal ideas, but you know, just to see what stuff works, camera angles, like okay. everything like that. Music, very important in horror. So. Okay, yeah, the music is lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very spooky. But the problem is I can't always sleep well, so I try and watch them in the daytime. If I watch them at night, it can... Really? Yeah. Oh, well, can, can you do that? You can watch I, your... I can do that, yes. You don't get nightmares if you watch. No, I get nightmares anyway, even if I ah, don't watch okay. them. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Well, I need to watch so many films at the moment. If you, if there's a good one, you know, one that gets good reviews, yeah. maybe we could watch it together. Yeah, maybe. Why not? Okay, cool. Yeah. Good, good. Mentioning some things that you can do together in future is a good way to kind of plant the seed in her mind and make her more likely to come back. Cheers again. Cheers. Hmm. By the way, I saw your music video. Oh, have you? Yeah, it's really cool. I like the song. Very, yeah. very nice. And uh, your voice is very good. Thank you. Did you like the, the video concept? The video was pretty cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I saw in the comments uh, someone said that you sing like Adele or they found the next Adele or oh, something like that. Yeah, that that must have made I'm... you happy. Yeah, <laughs> it did make me happy indeed. But I've got a question. Yeah. I hope you don't mind. Like, okay. you know there's these singers that lip sync and then they have all the effects yeah. on their voice and stuff. So yeah. do you sing as well in real life? Of course. Yeah, for yeah. real? Yeah, I do. Hmm. 
think I could hear some. Just a little maybe, bit. Maybe, maybe later this evening, will they? What about now? Why not? I don't know, I mean, it's a crowded, loud bar. Yeah, go for it a little bit, just for me, like a private little concert. Uh, pick a song. I don't know your songs. Uh, not my songs, you can pick any song. Oh my god, that's even harder. <laughs> um, and I will check your music taste. Uh, should be by a woman, or can be. Mm, yeah, better. I like the Adele uh, James Bond one. The Skyfall? Yeah, when the mm. sky falls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you like her rolling in the deep? Ah, this is great too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. There's a fire starting in my heart, reaching the fever pictures, bringing me out the dark. Awesome. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Just me. But. Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah, that's lovely. Very, yeah. very nice. So what, what do you do? Like what have, hobbies do you have? Um, I've got quite a lot of hobbies, really. Many, many different ones. How do I make her feel safer with me? We had this um, family party a few days mm -hmm. ago for my mum. Like mm -hmm. everyone was there, sister and cousin and was it different fun? people. Yeah, it was really, really nice. Are you close to your family? Uh, no, not no. really. No, oh. no, I'm very independent. Oh, okay, that's a good thing then. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we're quite close. I would. Talk. I used to be a mummy's boy, but now I'm also very independent. But <laughs> you shouldn't be telling me this, but no, yeah, used it's to be, okay. used to be. So it's like the best so of both grown worlds. Grown up now. Yeah, yeah okay. and I have to do my washing and stuff. Do you want to see? Actually, I'll show you. you yeah, can well, tell me you if want I look. To show me. Yeah, I'll show. You. Tell me if I look more like my mum. That's my mum. I see. Okay. Or my dad. Uh, yeah, probably your mum. Right. My mum. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. People say I look like both of them. No, you're kind of cute. If this comes up naturally, it's really good to do. Um, here it was just kind of, you know, suggested, but just keep in mind that someone will feel a lot more safe and comfortable with you if they've already seen, you know, pictures of you with female relatives and friends and basically understood that you're a real person with a real life, not some weird stalker type guy. If it's not too personal, quite interesting question, I think. And you can okay. ask me back, but right. how come you're single at the moment? I don't know. Mm. I mean, I go out a lot, but it's just that... On maybe, dates? Or? Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm just quite picky. Picky? I think so, I would say. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I think the same. Um, I think I know quite well what I want by now, yeah. because I'm not 18. Yeah. And so <laughs> it's true. kind of, yeah, taking the time to find the... To find the right and, person. Exactly. Well, yeah, yeah, because... Mm -hmm. Uh, with the wrong person, you just get bored so quickly, yeah. so it doesn't really work. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And you should be able to know quite soon if you click with someone. <laughs> exactly, I mean, so. you know instantly, that's why they say it's a click. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, well, that's good to know, I mean, yeah. Tell me more about your best relationships, if you want to. Oh, where to begin? I'll tell you one interesting fact, and then okay. I'll tell you more later. I, my first girlfriend was when I was 21. Okay. Yeah, so I was quite a late starter. I was very shy. I mean, it's normal for women, but uh, yeah, it's a bit weird for men, I guess. Mm -hmm. But nothing wrong with that. Everyone has their own timing, so... How do I get her to think about coming back to my house? I didn't ask you whether you had any pets. Do you have any pets? No, no, I'm not a pet type of person. Yeah, I wasn't. I kind of wanted a cute dog or a cat or something, but mm -hmm. I don't think it's right in an apartment. And mm -hmm. you know, you have problems when you go on holiday and stuff. Definitely. But I do have a pet. Like a fish or something? A fish? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, a, it's a hedgehog. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's quite so an it's unusual choice. Super cute. Doesn't require much maintenance. Okay. And when I go away, everyone wants to just, you know, bor it. borrow. Capture it. Borrow it. Okay. Borrow it. But this hedgehog is special um, because he can do a backflip. <laughs> no. Yes. I don't believe you. Yes. <laughs> do you have videos or edge. pictures? Oh, no, not yet, because he only just recently learned. But I will show you. Okay. Um, come and I'll show you how he does it. It's really special. Nice. You know, usually people ask me to come for tea or coffee. Well, of course. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the base, the minimum. But when you get in, like the hedgehog is just the cherry on top. The cherry on top. Of the tea. No, usually cherry on top is something else. But I mean, but different. If it's done in a playful way, this might be all right. Um, if it's a lie and she doesn't catch on, then it's kind of dishonest. But the idea is that any kind of reason to come back, and especially if you have a few over the course of the evening, then it makes her more likely to say yes. You've got cute little hands, look at them. Yeah. Let's check, compare sizes. One's a bit bigger. This is so sweet. Yeah. How about Massage? Are you good at doing massage with these hands? No. Then, are I they prefer strong? to have massage, not ah. to do massage. But... What kind of massage do you like? Uh, back, legs, and neck. Mm. Do you get stressed and you kind of need a little... I don't get stressed, but uh, I just like Something that. like that? Yeah. yeah. I like massage. I like uh, Thai massage. Um, oh, with the, with the feet? Yeah, normally some elbows and knees and stuff, okay. yeah. But also a relaxing one is lovely as well, just with yeah. the oil and you almost fall asleep. Yeah, it's and fantastic. then you fall asleep straight away, yeah. It's mm, nice. Okay. How should I go for the kiss? Elizabeth, yeah. <laughs> I really like how you're strong, independent. <laughs> yes, like you said, why are you laughing? It's true, isn't it? Okay. But also, yeah, you have this kind of light side, you're having fun and yeah. playful. And also, if you don't mind me saying, quite sexy. Thank you. And I like you fact, too. You do? Yeah. Well, come here then. Good stuff, that was the right option. Do you need to wake up early tomorrow? No. Ah, uh, great, yeah, me too. Okay. Uh, do you normally sleep well? No, actually, I really have trouble sleeping. It's like taking time to fall asleep? Or... No, it's like I wake up in the middle of the night and mm. then I have to stay awake because I can't fall asleep anymore. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Annoying. I've got some tips. Really? I'll try and give you some tips. You tell me if you do them. So, okay. first thing is about temperature. Um, you actually need to cool down okay. when you go to sleep. So you shouldn't be, you know, wearing woolly pajamas or have, uh, you know, super no, warm I, I, bedding. Don't wear Keep the woolly pajamas. No. Oh, yeah, but mm. okay. <laughs> I was imagining you in the woolly pajamas. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> so Sweet. yeah, it's good to have. Um, yeah, like the temperature in the room be mm. quite cool and your body temperature to be quite cool. If you have a bath before, it helps as well. Yeah, it does sometimes, but not always. Uh, keep the lights dim for the couple of hours before bedtime because a lot of people go to the bathroom, brush their teeth and they have like their strongest light on and you yeah, know, that kind of wakes you Yeah, because I don't want to brush my eye accidentally <laughs> or something, you know. Well, you have to learn to do it in the dark. So, <laughs> well, that's a funny tip. Okay. Those things should help. Obviously, not using uh, the screens. Phones. Yeah, mm. keeping mm. that like way away from the bedroom. And if you, if right before sleep, you could try listening to some uh, audiobook or meditating or something just to kind of take the mind off what it's thinking about. Let's see, I thought you were going to mention some that pills. Thing. No, you shouldn't yeah. use any pills. That's terrible. Well, some pills are not terrible. All sleeping pills no, are, pretty much. I'm not saying about sleeping pills. Mm. Mm. Anyway, mm. <laughs> carry on. Yeah, that was it.
Before I learned about this uh, sleep stuff, I used to wear pajamas yeah. quite a lot. And then um, now I either wear silk, because it's very good for like the heat thing and very soft and lovely. Um, okay. Or in summer, I just don't wear very much. Me too. Yeah? Mm -hmm. In Not summer much. only? Or? No, no, during the year. Mm. During the year? Mm -hmm. mm. Just some perfume. Perfume? Yeah. Like lavender, no, like real perfume, not... Yeah. Because you can spray lavender in the bed as well, makes you... Oh, no, I don't like the smell of lavender. I prefer jasmine. Mm. Mm. Nice. I've yeah. got some jasmine uh, massage oil. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> I mean, just thought of that when you said... <laughs> right, so, <laughs> funny you should bring this out. Yeah, funny. Um, yeah. Are you trying to hint on something? Hint about something? No. No, you're just mm. bringing this out. Yeah, just the first thing. Okay. Pop. Okay. Good that you like Jasmine. Mm. Yeah, that's great. What you want to do is, you know, you've already established that you can kiss her, so she's comfortable with that, and you don't need to be full on and keep doing it. You shouldn't try to turn her on too much in a bar anyway, um, because it could freak her out and she could just realize what you're up to and say, I need to get out of here. So, yeah, in most cases, chill it down, calm it down, kiss her from time to time, but not all the time. What's your favorite place in London or some places that you like? You mean like bars and clubs or like hmm. places to be? It's interesting that you went straight to the bars and clubs. <laughs> could be, could be. I was, to think, be honest, I was thinking you might say museums, <laughs> no, theaters. No, I, I don't like clubs. I like mm. bars with the, like piano music. Ah, like a jazz fan. Do you like yeah. jazz? Yeah, I love jazz. Ronnie Scott's. Yeah, this kind Ronnie of Scott's place. and uh, 606 in Chelsea. Mm. It's a really nice one. Classy. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. I like Ronnie Scott's. Been there a few times. They play nice music pretty much every night. I guess so. you're a singer, and obviously that's going to be yeah. <laughs> more your kind of ticket than you the. Know, yeah, sometimes they the have open music. mics, so I can come up and sing there. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah, wow. I do that sometimes. Hmm. Well, I like places like Covent Garden and, you know, walking by the river and Yeah, stuff. you know, there are lots of musicians in Covent Garden as well. There are. They have yeah. the different uh, spots where... Where they play. And they earn a lot of money. Yeah, but now, you know, less people have cash. So yes. I actually had this idea and uh, I mm, got together with my friends and we developed an app. It allows people to pay them without any cash to pay the musicians ah. and to interact with them and you know so that's true because this happens more than once right? i've been walking past someone to yeah. give money and sometimes actually homeless people too yeah. but also <laughs> yeah. um, musicians yeah. and then i'm like oh they're good but i don't have anything and so you Indeed. can just use your your, your app yeah yeah hmm. cool good stuff yeah. nice idea actually yeah it's, it's very good for musicians because you know they are poor yeah poor <laughs> they need help. musicians and artists yes. and all those yes. poor creative people <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah it's good that you love music still early, but I don't like the look of those guys. I think I've seen them before. Drinking the beer there. Those ones? Yeah, they get quite aggressive and start... Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, they got banned from some bar. Um, you know them? Battersea. No, I think I saw them. You okay. see how they're kind of really... Yeah, they're... Like, tough guys, rugby players and stuff. Yeah. And there's six of them, so... I think things might kick off here later when they get, get drunk enough. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see that. You don't like watching men brutally, brutally beating each other and stuff, no? Only if they're on Blood. the ring, but not like in a public place. You like boxing? Oh, uh, yeah, sometimes. Mm, that's great. Yeah. Well, you know, we should probably but, get out of here before it gets yeah, too I, I, I would say rowdy so. in here. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, let's do that. The last emotion right before you make that invitation is really important as to whether she will say, yes or no. So even if you'd ha had a great date, but then you have one minute of kind of boring conversation, running out of stuff to say and dead silence, then that's going to make it more likely that she will say no. Again, even if she's had a great date. So the time to 
try to escalate anything is on that high point and one of those high points is when she laughs. Should we finish this? Uh, well, I'll try. Put yeah. a little bit more. Hey, bro. Have a check, please. Actually, let me play with this card. Alright, there you go. Alright, cool. I don't have cash for the tip. It's like what you said about not carrying cash. But See? I'll get you next time, mate. Don't worry about it. Just um, buy him a drink. Buy him a drink. He's a barman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can buy him. I look after him. I'm normally generous. I just forgot my. I changed trousers. I, see. I was wearing these jeans. Excuse us, excuse my us. Bills in, in the other one. So. Let's get this cab here. I'm going to use DD cab. Okay. Three minutes. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, we should, yeah. Should go in a second. Let's go somewhere with better drinks and cooler music. Because yeah. I know you like music. Let's do that. Yeah, that's correct. This kind of phrasing will have the highest chance of success.